Hello everyone, wherever you are, how are you doing? Back again with me, Nathan. This time I will summarize a movie called The Warrior's Way. Released in 2010, this movie will awaken your inner action hero. So that when you see someone passing in front of the house, you will spontaneously invite that person to fight for no apparent reason. It begins by showing a man who has a blank stare and seems to have no emotion in him, where this man practiced swords all his life for only one purpose. That is to become the greatest swordsman in the history of mankind. And this is a swordsman who has the title of the greatest in the world today. Where the man was finally able to kill the swordsman very, very easily, making him the only great swordsman in the world today. His life's ambition, but his heart felt emptier than ever. But just like Saitama, who is the most powerful man in the world, the man also feels a void within himself when there is no more powerful enemy that can match him. And what happens is that all of his training and goals change in an instant. When he saw a baby girl who was the child of his enemy's clan, where his human side and conscience suddenly appeared, which made the man find a new purpose for living. That is to keep the baby and keep her alive. <laughs> Although his journey is full of obstacles, such as being visited by samurai ex-warriors who are not very good, then the age unconscious grandmother who intends to kill him, the man remained consistent until he thought that this land was no longer safe. He decides to meet his old friend in the West with the intention of spending the rest of his life with the baby. And this is the path of a warrior. Because he wanted to live a peaceful and new life, the man changed his name to John. Finally, John arrived in a deserted and shabby bankrupt city, where it was where his old friend lived, who turned out he had died a long time ago. Meanwhile, we will see the Grand Master who is the leader of John's clan. Where the Great Master is checking the last place, John stopped, and found a paper that was a clue to where John went. She will always be the enemy. And let me explain a little that this John is part of a respected group or clan. Yes, a kind of assassin clan like in the Ozunu clan movie Ninja Assassin, where their clan has been involved in a feud for hundreds of years. And the only living descendant of their enemy clan is the baby under John. So that indirectly John is considered a traitor to his own clan. Which is where the great master intends to kill the baby. Which of course John would not let that happen. D. Back to John and the baby living in a foreign land. It wasn't long until a kind-hearted woman offered him a job as a laundress. This woman is named Lynn, a woman who lives alone in this bankrupt city. All right now, time to get to work. On John's first day of work, he was approached by three young men who asked John to wash their clothes, which is when this young man stupidly acted arrogantly in front of John. If they knew who John really was, I guarantee you that they would pee their pants while running away. And let me tell you a little bit that most of the people in this small town are talents or circus performers who have their own specialties, including Lynn, who has ambitions to become a knife thrower. But it, it seems that she is not quite ready to do that. Plus, the lack of visitors is the main factor why this town is bankrupt. John's days were spent learning how to wash and dry his clothes. Then they play with the residents there, followed by planting flowers that are rather impossible to grow, until John found the peace that he had never felt. But it's nice to have a few friends around when the sun goes down. A few weeks past the flowers he planted are now growing thickly, where John himself is seen playing cards with Kevin, which Kevin in this Spongebob cartoon often loses bets because he has difficulty seeing lies from John's empty eyes. When he saw Lynn, who was alone in the middle of the grave, Kevin also said that when Lynn was a child, she actually had a father, mother, and baby brother. The family had been killed by an evil colonel who had slaughtered them all so sadistically. Lynn! The colonel was said to often look for young girls with clean teeth to fulfill his sexual desires. 
But when Lin became his victim, Lin was desperate to douse the colonel with hot oil, which made him angry and killed all his family. Lin himself was thought dead by the colonel, but it turned out that the bullet did not hit the vital parts that allowed him to survive until now. My arm ain't worth a damn. Ouch. Sympathizing with her past, John trained Lin how to throw a knife properly then showed her the legendary sword that had killed hundreds of lives and was now sealed so that she would not return to her old self. Without him realizing it, the great teacher was on his way by ship and would soon meet John to take the baby's life. Back to John training Lynn with a knife, John feels like he's back alive and has a real family and is living happily in the small town. Christmas laundry man. <laughs> Until one day when they were all having a party, there were some people using horses and destroying flower garden, which turned out to be a group of criminals under the leadership of the colonel. Merry Christmas. To bring you a little boy. <gasps> After the incident, the colonel now wears a mask to cover his ugly face from being doused in hot oil. What closed the colonel's purpose there was to find a young and clean woman who would be used as an outlet for his lust. Looking so sad. Huh? <laughs> One of the residents who wore a clown costume became the target of the colonel and his troops, followed by killing a couple for no apparent reason, and it was very sad. <laughs> Por favor, déjala ir. And what happened next was completely unexpected, where Lynn turned out to still remember the trauma of the person who had slaughtered her family. Then Lynn dressed up beautifully and intended to take revenge. Tell them to get. This ain't the theater. Nothing is too wrong. Hey! She's not here. Knowing that Lynn was desperate to meet the colonel alone, John, who had been silent and witnessed the colonel's heinous actions, finally decided to intervene where John broke the seal on his sword, which was immediately noticed by the Lynn herself had to be caught after she intended to kill the colonel until when she was about to be gang-raped. John appeared and immediately slaughtered all of them. By using Lin, the colonel managed to escape from there, which would put all the townspeople in danger because it was certain that the colonel would return with more troops. <laughs> Not staying silent, John and all the residents worked together to devise a strategy that could at least minimize the colonel's attack. Long story short, tomorrow came. All the citizens were ready in a position where they had prepared a mine that could blow up all the colonel's troops, and how surprised they were when the colonel brought hundreds of horsemen who were very, very beyond their expectations. And John was at the forefront to welcome and finish them off one by one using the sword at the end. But with so many troops, John had difficulty covering everything at once, where the rest of the residents, including Lynn and the baby, had to escape from the pursuit of the rest of the colonel's troops. And what happened next really surprised everyone because suddenly... Yes, the great master appeared with dozens of swordsmen who would not hesitate to slaughter them all just to get the baby. Kill. There was a battle between the two camps, the swordsmen and the colonel's troops, where the swordsmanship of the professor's clan had to fight against the weapons of the colonel's troops. John himself continued to protect Lynn and the baby as he engaged in a battle with several swordsmen who were easily defeated by him. Oh. 
With this chaos, Lynn left the baby to Kevin, who was killed by the colonel who tried to capture the baby so that the colonel would have a guarantee to stay alive. And no matter how many troops the colonel had and how sophisticated his weapons were, they were no match for the greatest swordsman in human history. And the most interesting thing is that John turns out to have speed exceeding the bullet that makes the baby successfully save. Not wanting to be killed just like that, John also gave Lynn the opportunity to take revenge when the two of them were involved in a fight, which, of course, was won by Lynn. After all, the colonel's troops and the swordsmen are dead now. Is the time for John to face directly with the great teacher at Kay, the person who has trained him since childhood? And by being located in the outdoors, John also mixed skills with his own teacher. Which, as we know that from the beginning, I have emphasized that John is the greatest swordsman in the history of mankind. Surely the teacher will die so easily, and that's what happens. Oh. Feeling that his destiny as an assassin and swordsman could not be abandoned, John left the baby with Lynn and decided to leave to achieve his goal of meeting John Wick. And after traveling to the Antarctic continent, John met dozens of ice swordsmen who wanted them to play individually or in a group. John would still win 100, because he is the main character. Wow! I feel good!